what it is what's up you guys back to wig wednesdays where i try out a new wig every single wednesday i'm trying to make this like a weekly thing because you guys know i love to switch my hair up so this is my natural hair and first of all inches it's finally growing i've had short hair for so long like i literally when i cut my hair it's like this long but um yeah so it's finally growing just had to give y'all the length check real quick but yeah like i said we are trying on a new wig today so the wig we are working wear is by a <laughs> is by Asteria hair so this is the little pack it comes in so this is the hair quick details on it it is HD lace 24 inches 13 by 4 um, on the cap and hair density is 180 and I got a cap size small because a lot of my wigs just be fitting way too big on my head so hopefully this one will fit better the hair we're doing today is going to be this deep brown color so this is how it looks fresh out of the pack super bouncy it is body wave hair this is how it looks it comes with the baby hairs and it looks like it's pre-plucked already so let's get a close-up on the lace okay this is their hd lace you can see it's super thick and heavy i've been doing brown a lot lately i feel like but i feel like this could be super cute beautiful kind of like chocolate brown color they also sent me a few goodies so we have a wig cap some lashes wait let me take them out of the pack comes in this cute little container oh shit i dropped it so they sent me these pretty lashes a wig band and last but not least little edge brush okay now we can get into this install girl my hair has been so so dry lately because i've been going to the beach a lot i've been out in the sun a lot i've just been throwing my hair like up in a bun because you know when it's hot you just want to like like throw that shit up so it's really dry so i'm gonna try to put some leave-in spray just so it sucks up some moisture while it's up in the wig i'm just using the it's a 10 miracle leave-in spray so I like to put a lot of moisturizing products in my hair before I put it up in the braid. So I'm using this um, moisture milk and I just put it all over my hair, make sure it's fully covered. And then we're going to brush it all the way through and make sure there's no knots or tangles or anything and make sure it's fully coated with the product. And after that, we're going to start preparing the hair to get braided. So I just um part my hair down the middle and i always do two french braids so i'm just parting it off and i'm going to add my uh hair growth oil so <laughs> i like to use hair growth oil um before i braid my hair and i feel like it's kind of working like my hair is kind of long like it's giving inches these days guys but yeah i'm just gonna brush that oil all the way through and i'm going to start french braiding my hair so i'm just gonna french braid as tightly as i can all the way through just to make sure none of the hair is going to poke out and get in the way of the install. So we're going to tie that off with a little tiny rubber band. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Oh, I forgot one little step. So I like to take some hair gel and just push my edges back or my baby hairs, whatever you want to call them. I just comb them back with a little edge brush because um, it helps to, you know, get them out the way so they don't be in the way while I'm putting the wig on. So I'm actually running out of my hair growth oil. So I'm actually I started using black castor oil. Is that what it's called? I don't know but yeah so i got new oil already so don't even worry about me girl but yeah we're just braiding the other side and now we're going to take my got to be ultra glued just to make sure my edges aren't going anywhere and now we're gonna pin our braids up so i just pin them up with regular schmeckler bobby pins i crisscross them to make sure they're not gonna budge and now we're gonna start our wig cap so I just put the wig cap over my head, cut out some eye holes, and now I'm going to take the Got To Be Ultra Glued spray again and spray along the hairline and go at it with the blow dryer just to make sure it's really stuck on there. 
this part is super important guys so you want to take your time make sure the wig cap is fully stuck onto your forehead and it's not going to budge and it's not going to go anywhere so i do two layers of the got to be spray and then i go at it again with the blow dryer and just make sure it's really stuck on there good so after that we're going to start cutting the wig cap off so you want to start cutting and pull it back as far as you can um you want it as close to your natural hairline as possible so that's why you see me kind of like pulling at it right here and then you're going to take the scissors and just cut as close as you possibly can um don't cut your forehead but yeah you want to get it as close as you can and cut around the ears around the sideburns and everything so we're going to do that on both sides So after that's done, we're going to take my Ghost Bond glue and I'm just going to dot it along the um, edge of the wig cap and I'm going to take this rat tail comb and kind of just like mush the glue onto the wig cap. Just get it like really stuck on there good and this actually helps it have a more smoother appearance so it's easier to melt with the lace. So yeah, I'm just mushing down the wig cap with the glue and everything. This glue actually dries really quick, so you want to work fast with it. But yeah, now I'm going to take a little sip of coffee. <laughs> and I usually tie the wig cap in the back to kind of hold the braids in in case they fall or anything. So I'm just pushing the baby hairs back on the wig, and we're going to start to try it on and line it up with my natural hairline another sip of coffee <laughs> so i'm actually gonna tie the hair up to work on the lace girl so i like to uh hairspray the baby hairs back so they're not in the way and now we're gonna start spraying the lace so i do use hairspray i use the got to be ultra glued spray to um stick on my lace i i probably told you guys a hundred times already but i'm done using glue on my lace fronts because they are just a mess they're super hard to clean up and they get all in the hair and like the glue just never comes out so i'm going to take the hairspray and put the wig band on for a good little bit maybe like 10 minutes or so and now we're gonna work on the rest of the hair so i'm gonna take my wax stick and part the hair down the middle. I love a good middle part. Maybe one day I'll do a side part. But yeah, I'm going to put the wax stick on and take the hot comb to it. And for some reason, the hot comb started smoking so much. And I was just so confused. I don't know why it was smoking. Like, that's never happened before. So yeah, that was kind of weird. But yeah, I'm just parting the hair in different sections. Taking the wax stick and putting that on there and then uh, taking the hot comb again to just try to get it as smooth as possible, as blade as possible, as flat as possible. So yeah, I go in with the hot comb. I love the hot comb. This is actually my favorite step because it's just so satisfying. So yeah, now I'm going to take the wig band off. It's looking a mess under there, but we're going to cut the lace. So yeah, once again, get it as close to the hairline as possible. Cut around the sideburns, cut around the ears. And I work with like little like little pieces at a time i don't want to cut off too much and then we're going to take our tweezers and start to pluck the hairline so i want to get it as natural as possible so i'm just i don't want it to look so thick around the hairline you know so i'm just plucking a little bit not too much and too crazy but yeah just to give it a little bit more of a natural look my forehead was kind of looking eggy is giving egg so we want to make it look a little bit more natural So now we're going to go in with the baby hairs. So for the baby hairs, you're just going to pull out a little piece of it. And I just trim it with a little um, eyebrow razor or the eyebrow shaper. So I like cut them pretty short and then I just lay them down with um, regular schmegular hair gel. And I take the edge brush and just kind of swoop them on either side. And now I'm actually going to take the got to be spray again and do a second layer because I felt like it was lifting, you know, after all that plucking and the baby hairs and everything. So I was just like, just to be safe, I'm going to go back in with the hairspray again and do the wig band one more time. So for the front pieces, I just wanted it to frame the face a little bit. So I'm taking this big barrel um, curling iron. And I'm just going to do two curls in the front away from the face. And now the best part 
taking off the wig band and we're going to take a darker foundation and just dab it onto the lace so there's no white cast and so it just blends seamlessly with our forehead <laughs> so i'm just dabbing that on with this little tiny brush but yeah that's pretty much it it's looking super cute okay baby so this is the final product so pretty much i just curled up these two front pieces to kind of just like frame the face a bit but i actually didn't touch the body wave and i actually really like it like i usually like you guys know i usually just straighten out the body wave hair like i just love like a pin straight look but today with the waves i'm kind of feeling it like it kind of feels like really kind of just like glamorous and pretty i love the length of it this is how it looks i actually really do like the color and everything i didn't think i would like brown hair on me but this hair is so pretty let's do some up close so like the little baby hairs i think i put too much on this side it's kind of uneven but it's fine um yeah the part ended up laying really flat so yeah this is the final product you can see super bouncy flowy holds the curl so this is how it looks from the back it's so pretty ah! okay so let's get a close-up i want you guys to see this is the hd lace up close maybe i didn't do the best install but still i think it looks really nice so thank you guys so much for watching this video once again big shout out to asteria hair for sponsoring this video and sending me this beautiful hair don't forget to check them out using the link in my description you guys i love you guys so much and i'll catch y'all on the next wig wednesday